Welcome back, Seahawks, to another edition of Seahawks Central News, your source for the latest in UNCW news and entertainment. I'm Aki Suzuki. And I'm Anna Phillips. This week, we will be taking a look at our UNCW homecoming plans, as well as a 24-hour theater production. We will also be discussing the Data Dell auction and a Hollywood East panel discussion. Stay tuned because Seahawks Central News starts right now. It's a fun month for the students of UNCW past and present as our Seahawk family comes together for the biggest university event of the year, homecoming. Campus events kick off this Saturday the 15th with the showing of Moulin Rouge and Lumina Theater and Glow Ball in the rec center on Sunday. Other big events throughout the week include a food can structure competition on Monday, a sidewalk chalk competition, a Red Cross blood drive, and the fan favorite Dub Idol Wednesday night. Be sure to bring your Seahawk pride and check out the fun activities this week. UNCW senior Brandon Barfield successfully proposed and co-curated the Warwick Center exhibit Matt Imaging Justice, the Wilmington 10 story. The Wilmington 10 story surrounds the nine African Americans and one white woman who were falsely convicted in 1971 for firebombing a local grocery and only recently pardoned by Governor Bev Perdue in 2012. The submission for the show from UNCW students and Wilmington residents are paintings, photography, and mixed media pieces that focus on the story of the Wilmington 10 and other civil rights injustices. UNCW's Upperman African American Cultural Center and Department of Art and Art History are sponsoring the exhibit's February 6th gallery showing. Ready, set, go! The race began this weekend for UNCW's annual event, 24-Hour Theater. Writers, actors, and directors gathered to take on the challenge of creating an original 10-minute play in one day. Contestants met on Friday in Morton Hall to begin writing. Then they met again on Saturday to rehearse. Curtains went up on Saturday night to showcase two productions with acting troupe Shark Boy and the Lava Girls taking the win. Stage company president Liz Bernardo says it was a great opportunity to let everyone dip their hands into all of the different areas of producing theater. Valentine's Day is coming up, whether you hate it or love it. <laughs> Anna, you got any special plans? Well, I might be in store for a surprise on Friday, but we'll see. Do you I guess the, the rest of us can just head down to Ace's speed dating event. Ooh. Here, that will be pretty exciting. <laughs> Beginning this fall, UNCW students will be able to minor in two new subjects. A fac faculty committee voted in January to approve the addition of campaign management and entrepreneurship as possible minors. Campaign management will be run through the Communications Studies Department and is designed to offer potential politicians an inside look at campaigns. Entrepreneurship is already a major within the Cameron School of Business, but the new minor will be available to all students regardless of major who are interested in the basics of business. The Women's Studies Student Association is continuing its 15-year tradition with performances of the Vagina Monologues at UNCW. The Vagina Monologues are short narratives about women's personal lives that range from humorous to deeply emotional storylines. The proceeds from the show benefit the Rape Crisis Center of Coastal Horizons Center Incorporated and the Carousel Center for Abused Children in Wilmington. Tickets for the February 13th and 16th shows are available at etix.com and at Sharky's box office in the Fisher Student Center. Snap Yeti? No, it's not a new way to Snapchat. Snap Yeti is the photo sharing site developed by UNCW alumni Justin Beard. The site unites photo contests and free marketing for companies. Customers simply upload photos to the site and businesses award winners in the form of goods and services. Beard recently received a $50,000 grant from NC Idea to further his company. He spoke to local entrepreneurs at UNCW Center for the Innovation on February 7th about his plans for the future of the company. The first day of UNCW's Collegiate Fashion Week kicked off on the 10th, hosted by University Drive. 
A lot of uncertainty comes with interviewing for jobs such as what to wear, how to act, what's a resume, and is it really important? Through panels and workshops, guest speakers aim to clarify many of these questions with the goal of preparing students for the corporate world. Collegiate Fashion Week ends on Thursday the 13th with a grand business wear fashion show with students as models. A Hollywood East panel discussion was hosted by the Wilmington Northeast Library Monday night. Star News editor Jeff Hiddick moderated the open to the public discussion during which experts shared behind the scenes news on the local film industry. The panel included executives from Screen Gem Studios, a director from the Wilmington Regional Film Commission, and Terry Linehan from the UNCW Film Studies Department. In addition to the panel, the event featured tours of a VIP luxury Airstream trailer as well as complimentary refreshments. UNCW professor Taylor Segrist and his creative writing class celebrated Cupcake Day on Tuesday. While eating cupcakes of various sizes and flavors, students learned the theology of the cupcake short story structure. The icing represents the emotion in a story, the cake represents the exposition. Similar to the frosting and cake ratio, a balance must be formed when writing stories. A former TA, Ben Hoffman, explained his analogy to Seergrist. Hoffman published an article on the prep and creation of Cupcake Day last July. Well, Seahawks, that's all we have time for this episode. Until next time, I'm Aki Suzuki. And I'm Anna Phillips saying so long, Seahawks.